We're walking through the Unify OS on my new Ubiquiti Unify Dream Machine Pro. Um, so I just go to it with the regular IP address of 192.168.1.1. Um, you can also do Unify in your browser and it will take it to you if you're on your, you know, on the local network. Um, so this is Unify OS right here. The only application I have installed right now is the Unify Network Controller. Um, but if we go down here to settings, you can see some of the other stuff. Um, this is where you'll find your settings, your firmware update, and your information about the uh, Dream Machine Pro itself. So your CPU load, temperature, memory, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can also install the other applications here, such as Protect, Access, and Talk. Talk is still in beta right now. You do have to be invited to, uh, to join that beta, so you can't really do anything with that if you install it. And then we have your advanced settings down here, where you can turn on or off or, uh, automatic firmware upgrades. If you want to run beta uh, firmware on it, you can also enable that down here, so it will get the beta firmware updates. Uh, the cool thing about this is you don't have to install this separately. Um, you can uh, you can update the network controller separately, but it is usually updated and runs a different version on the um, the Unify Dream Machine Pro firmware. So this is 5.13.17. Um, this is the beta firmware for the UDM Pro because I was on a beta version of the network controller when I was hosting it on my Raspberry Pi. So in order to restore the backup, I did have to update to a newer version. I couldn't use the current release version on the UDM Pro. So if we click into this, this will take you into the application. It's gonna look just like if you use Unified Network um, on a Raspberry Pi or a Cloud Key or wherever you may be hosting it. Um, this application just runs on the UDM Pro. Um, so that's basically the only difference. The UDM Pro is just capable of uh, running diff different applications and services and stuff like that. You do get a couple extra features though with this, like the threat management and that kind of stuff. If we go down here to the settings, um, you know, your internet, your WAN networks and all that kind of stuff. Um, instead of doing that through a different portal, if you have like an edge router or something like that, everything is built into Unify. Um, so with the Dream Machine being your security, uh, your firewall appliance, and your network controller, everything is all under the Unify network settings, and everything is done through here. I'm not gonna walk through each and every setting, um, but that's basically just how that works. Um, if you go to your, your devices, you have all your stuff right here. Um, statistics is pretty cool because it will show um, like different websites and services and, and apps and stuff like that, uh, that that are being used most frequently and you can sort that by user and everything like that. You can also add, uh, add a category. I thought I added games but I don't know if it saved or not. So like you, if you want to add um, games and see like a Nintendo, so my Nintendo Switch is probably doing something on the network. Um, you can do that as well to see what is taking up. Um, your bandwidth and using the most data. So that is pretty cool um, that it shows all that kind of stuff and then it'll show your Dream Machine Pro util utilization up here and your internet capacity um, based on your speed test and your, uh, your download and upload speed that you configure. Um, another thing you can do is if you go down here to settings, settings, I thought I clicked on it, but I guess I didn't. Um, where let's see yeah so right here you can set your uh, ISP capabilities and it will automatically um, rate your load and everything based on that so if that's pretty much it for Unify Network like I said this video is meant to be if you already used this on another type of controller um, you're gonna be pretty familiar with it there is a new dashboard coming um, it was kind of buggy. It wasn't showing um, like the device traffic and stuff like that um, like it should have. It was just kind of blank, so I switched back to this one. Um, if you want to switch to another app, if you have other apps installed, like if you want to go to the Protect app and look at your cameras or something like that while you're on here, um, you can have those up here. Like I said, I only have that one app installed, so that's all it's going to do. If you want to go to the settings for the UDM Pro or users, you can click here. You can also go back to the main home screen. Uh, with your apps by clicking up on the U right here and it will take you back to your main UDM Pro screen. And that is basically it for the Unify Dream Machine Pro.